Good morning, everybody. This is Deanna with Food Bank Beautiful. Yeah. And I have Grandma right here. Good morning, Grandma. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. Did you sleep like a princess? Well, of course. <laughs> are you a little spicy this morning? Well, that's what you say. <laughs> So I guess so. Are you a little spicy? I must be. All right. That's okay. We don't care about spicy. Spicy's good. Everybody can be spicy in this house. Okay. All right. So what's going on this morning? Well, I'm sitting here having my coffee. And the two precious darlings, I'm talking to them. That one and that one? Yeah. Yes. To my viewers who follow me regularly, I had to move that outside. I woke up this morning and Ouch. it smelled like a little tiny barnyard in my house and that just won't work. So I moved it this morning, got it all cleaned up. They spent about 30 minutes outside and they're going to spend quite a bit of time outside today. Ouch. I know, Grandma. They have to. They're getting to an age where they have to. So, Grandma, do you know what you're having for breakfast this morning? No. Grandma. What am I having for breakfast? <laughs> oh, Grandma. Can you look over here, darling? Yeah. You are going to have your Lucky Charms pancakes. That's okay. Yes. And you're going to have some stewed prunes and you've got your coffee and your juice. So you just need to drink it. Oh, it's Gordita. Look at that thing on the porch. Gordita. I don't know. I think the big birds might have come and eaten all your snacks, Gordita. Look at Gordita. Gordita. What a perfect name. Oh, I know. Baby. She's such a chunky. I saw a baby squirrel on the front porch. Uh oh. Yeah, it wasn't bigger than my. It was smaller than my fist. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So, I don't know if Gordita has children and what in the world they're doing in the front yard. Okay, Grandma. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to make these uh, okay. Lucky Charm pancakes. Yum, yum, I'm going to make them for the viewers so they can see what to do when they get a box of Lucky Charms pancakes. And then uh, we're going to start our day. Okay? I got about a few errands to run, and it's a nice uh, church day for you, so lots of rest and peace and quiet yeah. and reflection about the evil of your ways. Yeah. <laughs> Serious, Grandma, you think I'm joking? About the evil of your ways, darling. No. Okay, I am joking. Grandma is actually yeah. the sweetest person. Okay, well, I'm going to let you go, and I'm going to try to make some pancakes. Be forewarned, I am not great at pancakes. Oh, you'll be wonderful at pancakes. Oh, you're funny. All right. You guys saw Grandma. She's doing fantastic this morning, which she always does. She is right over there. She's watching the squirrels and the birds this morning. Uh, Sissy and Betty Jan are right behind me on my spotlessly clean kitchen floor. We don't know how long that'll last. Uh, I have been busy this morning. I got up, made sure my house was still clean, uh, paid bills, drank a couple cups of coffee, got grandma up this morning, and now I'm making her breakfast. So I have stewed prunes. Woohoo! <laughs> grandma, do you love stewed prunes? Yeah, they're not bad at all. Uh, actually, she eats them very well. I make them with a little bit of vanilla, and she does beautifully with those. Um, quite necessary because of some of grandma's medications. So, um, the other thing we're going to make today is we're going to make this. Do you guys remember that? I thought it was a box of Lucky Charms and it's pancakes for the love of God. It is Lucky Charms pancakes. Right? Now... <sighs> I don't even know what the nutrition is on this, so we're just going to count it as a scratch day. That's what my husband calls it, on a day where you don't have to count whatever it is you're going to do, scratch day. And then I am going to make some pancakes for myself, but I don't want Lucky Charms pancakes, so I'm going to use this. Both of these items are food bank items. So I'm going to get that started, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how that works but I am a crappy pancake maker. I make the ugliest pancakes known to man. It's an art form and I don't have it. 
So let me pull out a mixing bowl and get this uh, show on the road. I think I'm going to make all the pancakes and then freeze them so I can just stick them in the toaster oven for Grandma. Okay, I'll be back when I've gathered everything. Okay, I read the directions and it only calls for milk. It doesn't call for any eggs or anything else. No oil, no butter, no nothing in this pancake mix. I have my shelf stable milk, but it's been open in my refrigerator for a while. So we are going to do the taste test. All right, if I drop to the floor, one of you needs to call social services because grandma will need some attention uh, if I poison myself here this morning. But I would rather make sure, am I afraid? All right, we're living on the edge, people. Here we go. It's perfect. Okay, so we are going to start with the whole box of Lucky Charms uh, pancake mix. Okay. And I guess it's not that bad. It's only a little half thing. And then all of those little marshmallows that Grandma loves. In yeah. fact, yes. <laughs> in fact, <laughs> about six months ago, she wanted me to find marshmallows that were in the Lucky Charms box all by themselves. Contact the manufacturer, do this, do that, find me those marshmallows. Um, did that happen? No. Yeah. No, it did not. Mama is not going down that rabbit hole. She is, however, going to make Grandma some pancake mix. <gasps> oh, it's got sprinkles in it, you guys. Yum, yum, Look at yum. that. Sprinkles. Grandma, yum, you've got yum. sprinkles in your pancake mix. Good. All right. Now, Grandma's going to help me cook from over there, so you'll be hearing Grandma, and that's quite all right. One and one-third cup of milk after the cherry jam fiasco. I feel like reading the directions is a good thing. Call me, like, way ahead of my time. Read those stinking directions. You have better results most of the time. Okay, that's one and one third cup of milk. I'm gonna make some different pancakes for myself, but I'm gonna get grandma squared away first. So let me bring you down here. Can you see down here? Maybe right there. That's about the best I can do this morning. Now I have some things to do. I've got to get grandma breakfast. I need to go change the sheets on her bed. I like to do that every week so that she's got nice, clean sheets. She's got new sheets this morning. <laughs> do you remember what your new sheets are, Grandma? No, but they're beautiful. They are a teal-colored, I don't know if teal's the right word. It's milder than that. A sheet with little gray South American llamas on it. And so she's looking forward to having those nice, fresh sheets on her bed. And then Grandma usually does a quiet Saturday. So after she's had breakfast and her meds, she'll usually go into her room and take a nap. And then she watches her church services on the Hope Channel. And uh, that's been her Saturday routine her whole life. So that's what Grandma does. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> oh... <laughs> I drink tequila and plan revolutions. Yeah. All right, that's what I do. Okay, I'm joking. I don't really plan any revolutions. <laughs> Unless you count the fact that I'm buying chickens on March 8th. That, my friend, will be a story when that happens. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Can you guys see it? Looks like pancake batter. It says to use a scant quarter cup. I'm a little bit afraid because I am not, like I said, a good pancake maker. Now, do I put butter on that skillet or do I put a little oil on that skillet? I just honestly have no idea. Butter. Butter, Grandma? Yeah. You want butter? Sure. Okay. The goddess has spoken. It is going to be butter. All right. 
I am a little afraid. Can you guys see? I got a lot going on up here. Now, after I go run errands and come back, I'm going to can some carrots and I'm gonna roast a chicken. And I was reading you guys' comments last night and you guys are funny. Funny, funny, funny. One of you was very worried. I don't know if worried is the right word, but was laughing. She said she was laughing because here I am with my chickens running loose in the house, but I'm quite willing to uh, roast a chicken. Yeah, I'm willing to roast a chicken if it's a Costco chicken. So, well, that's about two tablespoons. I don't know, people. I wish you could be right here in the kitchen with me because I really am not good at pancakes. All right, those, I'm gonna make them all, Grandma, and then okay. I'm gonna stick them in the freezer for you, okay? Yum, yum, yum. And then uh, you can have them when you want them. Oh, goody. Within reason. Oh, <laughs> I cannot serve these to you every day okay. and be a good caregiver. Oh. You can have them periodically. Every once in a while. Every once in a while, yes. Yeah. Moderation, darling, moderation. Oh, shuckies. Oh, shuckies, she says. All right, there's six, and I can probably do one or two more when these are done. I don't know, you guys. Do those look right? They look a little thick to me, but what do I know? What do you think? This could be a fail, and if it's a fail, Grandma's going to have cheese toast. I'll eat cheese toast. I know you will. Toast. You would eat cheese toast every single day if it were an yeah. option. I like to get other things down her, like oatmeal and eggs and breakfast burritos. Cheese toast is the best. Fried egg McMuffins. Cheese toast is the best. <laughs> cheese toast is the best. You heard it right here, people. Cheese toast is the best. All right, so I think I discussed what I'm going to do. We're gonna roast that chicken for sure. We're gonna do that together. And then we're going to make a couple pints of canned carrots. I think I'm only gonna make four little pints of canned carrots and see if I like them as I go to use them in soups and stuff later. And I will come back to you when these pancakes look like they're ready to flip. I think the direction says when they're brown around the edges, pour onto a greased hot skillet or griddle. Good, we did that. Cook until the edges are dry, about one minute, 30 seconds. Turn, cook until golden brown, about a minute. Let me get her a plate started. Let me get her little marshmallows opened. I don't know if these marshmallows are even gonna be any good. I might just toss them out. Oh, it's like Lucky Charm cereal, Grandma. Yum, 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 yum. Do you want Lucky Charm cereal on top of your pancakes? Why not? Are you, sh are you sure? Oh, you want a couple of the marshmallows? Whatever it needs you need to do. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. I'm going to get you a little bit of prunes, and you can start on your prunes this morning, okay? They'll have to cool a little bit. These are vanilla prunes, so. No, I know, but you've been eating them for me beautifully, so okay. you can continue to do so. Okay. I know you were scared of them at first, but. Well, that's a lie. Now, now you're good. Okay, so she only really is going to get this much, and she probably will only eat half of that, but we will see. I'm going to go give this to her. And you're probably going to want some syrup on those pancakes, am I right? Well, I think, yeah. All right, I got you some syrup. And I thought pancakes had to have holes. 
in the pancake batter before you flipped them over. Am I wrong? I don't know. I don't know. All right, people, I'm going to bring you back when it's time to flip the pancakes. I didn't flip you yet. Okay. That's my pancake. It's brown on the bottom. Let's see if we can flip it. All right. All right. Oh, it, smell, it smells like cake, Grandma. This is... Yum, yum, yum. This is terrifying, actually, that you're getting these for breakfast. Good. All right. All right. And you want butter and syrup, is that right? Well, I'm going to have to have butter and syrup. Okay. All right, darling. Let's get some butter and some syrup. And when I can walk away from the skillet, I'll go get your teeth, okay? Okay. All right. I have my teeth. Oh, you have your teeth? Yeah. You have your teeth in your mouth? Yes, I slept in the Oh, bed. my God. I was abandoned. Oh, my God. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now you know <laughs> what happened. Now I know, and For so me. does everybody who follows you. She does not have a very good caretaker, okay? Generally, I make sure that I have her teeth and I do the denture thing and the whole nine yards. But apparently last night she slept in them. I slept so it didn't matter. If anybody wants to call social services, you might have the grounds right there. Okay? Lucky Charm pancakes for breakfast and Grandma had to sleep with her teeth in last night. That's okay. This is not great, people. not great. All right, Grandma. There's your Lucky Charms pancake. What do you think? Yum. Does it look good? Yeah. You want to take a bite and see what you think? Yeah. Give it the taste test. Because I most certainly am not going to eat a Lucky Charm pancake. Mm. What do you think? Mm. Yum. Good? Yum. All right. All right. All right. You enjoy your breakfast, darling, okay? All righty. Now I am going to make my pancakes buttermilk pancakes. So I am going to add, let's see, for one cup of buttermilk, four tablespoons. So I'm going to add three tablespoons, and that should be what I need for three fourths cup of milk. And I'm just going to use a grody spoon. One, two, three. There we go. All right, now I need three quarters cup of milk. Let's see if we can use this up. I think we can. Oh, my shelf stable milk is completed. Thank you for your service. You did very well. Now I have some 2% here and we're gonna use the 2% right there. I might want a little more. I like my pancakes not as thick as grandma's. Calls for a little bit of oil. I called for a tablespoon. Right here. And I have a food bank egg, but I'm too lazy to get into the refrigerator and get it. So I'm gonna grab one of my eggs. So technically, the egg is mine. Everything else is food bank. Pretty egg, right? All right, nice looking egg. Yeah, that's garbage. Can give that a stir. Can you guys see? not working for me. Not in the least. And I don't want my pancake batter that thick. So we're going to add a little bit more milk. Maybe about that much.
Grandma, is one pancake going to be sufficient? Oh, probably, maybe. All right. Most important thing will be those prunes in your meds, though, okay? Hmm. I know. Okay. Life is tough, darling, all the way around. Okay, that's a little bit less thick, but I'm still going to add a tiny bit more because I do like my pancakes thin. There we go. Hmm. I got a little rainbow sparkle in my pancakes. I'll live. It's not the end of the world. Okay, let's turn Grandma's pancakes. There's one. Ooh, that's a big one. Holy crap. I, can you say crap on YouTube? I don't know. We'll find out. Okay. Now, I'm going to put a little butter down on this skillet. really have a clean thing. We'll just do this. There's one. And there's two. And I'll try to keep them separate with the spatula. I'll wait until grandma's pancakes come off the griddle and then I'll make the rest of those. All right, we don't know. Might be okay. Might not be. If all else fails, I'll have cheese toast. Yeah! <laughs> hmm. All right, you monsters. What have you done this morning that I don't know about yet? Hmm. So when I go to the co-op, to get a couple bags of chicken food. I usually get two bags at one time. I am going to pick up their chicken list of all the breeds and varieties that they're going to have on March 8th, and then Grandma and I are going to pour over them. I really want some Buff Orpingtons. I would really like some Plymouth Rocks, and I would like some Delawares, or some Blue Laced Wyandotte, or any Wyandotte variety. What I do not want is a brown, red, or black chicken. I have a lot of those already, and I just want some color out there, all right? We want to be inclusive. We want every color of chicken that we can get our little grubby hands on. I would love to have lavender Orpingtons. I highly doubt that this co-op will offer those. And when they do, they run about $20 a chick. And that for right Good now heaven. is out of my price range. I need to stay in the three, four, or five dollar. I don't know what chicks cost. I haven't bought chicks in four years. So longer than that, probably. But uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna get 10 maybe. We'll see. We don't know. This little undershirt never wants to stay nice, it always goes down my shoulders. All right. Well, that is our morning routine for Saturday morning breakfast. Uh, these two are right there. I cannot be responsible right now if anything shoots out of this end while the camera is here. I certainly hope not, uh, but we live on the edge in this house. So grandma is still working on her prunes and her meds. I'm going to go change her sheets and get her room all nice and fresh. And then I'm going to take a shower and go run my errands. Grandma's going to take a nap and watch church TV. I'm going to come back and uh, do that chicken and some other things. But I'm going to stop this video here and go ahead and post this one by itself because it looks like it got a little bit longer than it should be. So feel free to fast forward through the parts that do not interest you, okay? You won't hurt my feelings. 
All right, you guys have a great morning. Whatever you're going to do, I hope it's pleasant. And I will talk to you a little bit later in the day. All right, ta-ta. Grandma, do you want to say ta-ta? Ta-ta! All right, do you guys want to say anything about how abused you are and you had to spend 30 minutes on the back porch this morning? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this one, not this one, this one right here. Betty Jan is giving me the stink eye this morning. Serious, serious stink eye. Yeah, yeah, I think they're plotting to um, get me. I don't know. They were not happy really about being outside. I do not care. You know I do. All right. I'll see you guys later.